Hello and welcome. In a previous video, we mentioned that there are more features and options available when using the Gamebench automation interface. In this video, we will show you what these are and how to get the most from this tool. If you have not watched our other automation interface tutorial, we recommend watching this one first as we will not be covering the installation or setup in this video. As we mentioned previously, the automation interface, GBA, is a command line based program that includes two components. A server, which needs to be run as a background process on your development machine, manages the communication between your test server or computer and the devices connected. A client runs on your server or computer. When you issue a GB command through the command line or one of your scripts, the client will communicate with the server and return the results when the server has finished executing the command. Listing available commands. To get a list of all commands and features, you can run the command gb help. Here you can see options such as exporting, syncing, and recording. We have also added a short description next to each one to give you a general idea as to what each command does. Listing available metrics. Before recording a session, you can find out which metrics are available to capture on your device. To do this, just execute the following gb info and then your UDID, which is your unique device identifier. Take note of the UDID as this is used to identify the device when using multiple devices at once. This will return some basic information about the device along with a list of metrics that are available for collection. If you just want to collect one metric instead of a whole list, you can do this by executing the following command gb set prop collect underscore metric and then true or false. The possible metrics you can select are FPS, memory, CPU, network, GPU, threads, janks, energy, and power. It is worth mentioning that by default, all of these are set to true. In order to just capture FPS, for example, you would need to set the other metrics to false. You can check this by running gb -get prop. If you are not retrieving data for a specific metric on iOS, this is because certain metrics depend on other metrics. For example, to collect FPS, you need to enable the collection for FPS and GPU. For CPU, you need to enable collection for CPU and memory. For network, you need to enable collection for network and power. This is due to the system architecture Apple has implemented on iOS. Exporting a file to JSON. By default, all sessions are exported to JSON. When running the dash dash stop command, you can also use the dash dash output dir flag with a directory path to specify where you would like to save the JSON file. If for some reason your session crashes or stops recording prematurely, you can create your JSON file by running the following command dash dash generate dash JSON session, where session is the file path to the recorded files which can be located on the Gamebench data folder inside your home folder. In this folder you will see a list of directories named after the application package names that you tested with the session directories inside their respective package name folders. The JSON file will be written into the session directory that you specified in the command. If you need any more information, just take a look at the README documentation or docs.gamebench.net. If you have any other questions, just email support at gamebench.net and one of our engineers will get back to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.